Hey everybody, as you can tell from the countdown clock right here, we're about to get started. Uh, if you've been here before, then you can just come back when the countdown clock hits zero. But if this is your very first lesson, then I got a couple things I wanna talk to you about. All right, so if you weren't here last week, don't worry, you didn't need to be. We're doing a brand new song this week. And if you haven't played piano before, don't worry, we're doing five different levels. You can definitely do level one. You are gonna need to click on the PDF button right over there though, download the PDF and print it out because that's all the music for all the different levels. Now, as you'll see in your PDF, in the upper right hand corner, it tells you what level that page is for. So on level one, you're gonna wanna have that level one page and then two and three and four and five, you can just ignore those. Just stay on level one for the entire lesson. You will wanna find the chart though that has all of the notes listed out with all the letters on it because that's what you're gonna use in order to play your piano along with me when I'm playing. So if we're playing Mary Had a Little Lamb, the track would go something like this. And as I'm playing it, I'll show you where all the notes are and where all the letters are, don't worry about that. But uh, then you're gonna play along with me when I'm playing the track. Now, uh, after we've done level one, I'll show you everything you need so you can practice the song throughout the week. Then we're gonna level up, and that looks like this. And now you can see we're on level two, right? So at level two then, it's gonna get a little bit more difficult, but each time the track plays, I want you to just play the track that you're on. So if you're on track one, if you're on level one, then each time you know we're doing our thing, we're going... Each time we start that, I want you to completely ignore the notes that we're playing and you just play your level. So you would play. Because that's gonna work with, uh, the, the track's gonna work with your level every time we play it, no matter what level we're on. So we move on to level two, three, four, five. You just stay on the one that you're comfortable with. All right, so all of these lessons are completely interactive. That means we wanna hear from you right now. So go ahead and click on the chat button right over there. Put in your name, you don't have to put in a password, and then you'll be talking with all the other students who are logged in right now, as well as some of my assistants who can help you and answer some of your questions. If you've got a question though that you don't think they're gonna to know the answer to, and you wanna ask me personally, then type your question in the box below this video, and then you'll get your answer to your question directly from me. Now at the end of level five, we're gonna raffle off some prizes. These prizes change up every single week. If you're the winner of the prize, you need to let us know right away what prize it is that you want. So we can send that out to you. You can tell my moderator, you can let us know at mailbag at learnpianolive.com, email us there. Uh, you can fill out the contact form and let us know, but just tell us what prize you want so we can get that out to you. If you're not the prize winner, or if you wanna know how you can earn more points so you can be the prize winner, then just stay tuned after the lesson and I'll let you know. All right, you've been very patient. That's all I gotta say. It's time for the lesson. I hope you've got your PDF. You're ready to ask some questions. I'm ready to answer them. Let's go. Welcome back to KidsLearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin. This is Shades. You spell her name with a Z, so you know she's cool. And uh, we are not live right now. If you jump to the chat room, there is nobody there. At least there shouldn't be anybody there. Um, so this is all pre-recorded because today is, I don't know, either I have the stomach flu or it's a holiday or something. I don't know. But for some reason, we're not doing a live broadcast today. But instead, we're going to be learning a song called Stray Cat Strut, which is a song you've never heard of before. And uh, Shades is going to be learning the song right along with you for the very first time. Um, you have heard the song, though, before. And we know from the past that uh, Shades is really good at piano, so she's probably going to get all of the notes right. But good news is it's a pretty easy song. You can probably get most of the notes right, too. But anyway... You get to go practice. See you later. And uh, you should all already have the PDF open, hopefully, um, and be ready to go. But before we jump into our PDF, 
Let's take it easy. We still have uh, Kendra to introduce. She is our moderator, and uh, she. Hi. Hi. Oh. You moderate the chat room. <laughs> there which we go. Is, there's nothing to do. Yeah. In the chat room right now, because yeah, we're oh. pre-recording this. I don't even know why why you're you're here, but I, I, I I'm here because just to be here because it's fun. I I said, hey, I'm gonna record oh. some some broadcast, and she's like, okay, I'll come over. Yeah. I'm like, no, Kendra, there's nothing to do. She's like, no, I'm on my way already. I'm like, Kendra. <laughs> Please don't <laughs> come over. She's like, no, I'm I'm already, I'm already there. Surprise. Yeah. So anyway, Kendra's over here. Oh, and, and I have a fact oh. first. <laughs> yes. Tell me your fact. There facts. are about 200 cat breeds in the world, apparently. Wow. I mean, I saw two websites, and That's one said there were 50, and the other said there were 200. But I think there's 200 if you count like all the wild cats. I think the other one was just. That's like 192 cats. too many. <laughs> I think maybe it's just gonna be another cat person. How many ca kind of cats do you need? You need an orange one. You need a white one. You need a, sp a speckled one. You need a, a black a one. Bla yeah. I'm only up to like four. Okay. <laughs> There's All like right. the hairless one. The hair. Well, the, yeah. Mentioning, yeah. mentioning, yeah, types of cats we need none of. <laughs> a hairless cat. Those things freak me out. If I saw well, one of those in the middle of the night. That was. That would. I would yeah, scream that, like a girl and pee my pants. I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Clopple. Oh, Cl where's Clopple? He usually jumps in at about this point. Tells me that uh, I'm talking too much. And for sure, I am this time. Talking about numbers of breeds of cat. Probably not what we're supposed to be doing here. You showed up for a piano lesson. Let's do a piano lesson. Open up your PDF. Um, this is just going to be basically uh, four notes. A, G, F, and E. If you can get those four notes, they're all right next to each other too. Um, technically, you got one more note after that, but that, that's mostly it. In order to find an A, you're just gonna take any group of three black notes, like those ones right there, take the middle note and drag it up one note and you will land on an A every single time. Doesn't work with a group of two black notes like those, but take this group of three black notes, take the middle note, drag it up one and you will land on an A. So I'm gonna start on this one right here. So you're gonna play the three of those. And the words for those are black and orange. You can go down one note, and that's stray cat. So black and orange, stray cat. Then go down one note, play four of those. Those are Fs. Sitting on the, and go down one note, and that's fence. And then pretty much you're just going to repeat that three times in a row. So we would do something like this. And a two, three. Four. Black and orange spray cat sitting on the fence. Do it again. But this time the words are ain't got enough to pay the No, I'm sorry, that was way too early. Oops. So we'll get to see this on, on the level two stuff. But um I know. I'm sorry. There's a big old pause right here. So you're supposed to not do anything for a long time. Also a big huge pause right there. So this song is even easier than I made, originally made it sound. So back to this A. And here we go. Black and orange spray cat sitting on the fence. Now just do nothing. Get ready. Here we go again. Same thing. Eight. Got enough dough to pay the rent. Then you're gonna wait again for a long time. Go get a cup of chocolate milk. And then we're back here with his A. I'm flat broke, but I don't care. And then here's the only tricky part of the whole thing. We're gonna go back up to that uh, A up there, and then we're gonna jump down. You can see this is an A right here. That's an A, but they can't be the same A because it's a big old line down. So we're supposed to go from this A all the way down to that A. Strut right by with my tail in the air. All A's down there, those are all the same exact notes. So that is the one additional note that you need. You need these four up here, and then that one, and then that's pretty much it. Let's try this thing one more time. Here we go. And a two, two, three, four. I thought that sounded a little bit odd. There we go. That was from a different broadcast. Sorry. Two, ready, go. Black and orange, spray, cat, sitting on the fence. And then wait around. 
Okay, let's go. Ready and eight. Got enough dough to pay the rent. Get around. Surf the internet. Check out YouTube. We're back again with an A. I'm flat. Down, right by with my tail in the air. That, my friends, is the whole entire thing. That's all of the notes. So that means that we're already into our video of the week. This week, it doesn't necessarily relate to our uh, lesson as much, but it's still pretty cool. Check this out. What did I tell you? It was cool, huh? All right, let's level up. Transitioning to level two. This may be confusing to level one students, so please continue to practice the level one version or visit learnpianolive.com slash level two for a detailed explanation on how to level up. Haha, <laughs> scared you, didn't I? All right, let's go. This is the, the PDF, the same exact thing. This is this is this is not too terrible. This one note down here, this is kind of weird. We don't have these very often. This A right here is on the second ledger line down. Now, in most cases, um, when you have a ledger line and you're in the treble clef, you're going to be playing a middle C. But it's not always true that just because you have a ledger line, uh, that ledger line is that little line cutting through the middle of the note. Just because you have a little tiny line cutting through a note does not mean that it's a middle C necessarily. Down here these notes if you had a note that was on this line right here that would be a middle c but this is two down from there because we're not on that line or that space we're on the next line down so that one is an a so that means you're going to be down below where middle c is other than that all you got to worry about is uh, stuff from like clopal academy level two and higher most of you who are in clopal academy Um, most of you who are in Clavel Academy are already dealing with uh, eighth notes. So um, that's just that, that bar that's across there. And then uh, this one is also an eighth note. It looks a little bit different. This one is called a flagged eighth. It's got a little flag on it there. And then these ones up here with the bars are called barred eighths, but they both mean the exact same thing, which is play those notes just a little bit faster. Here are those big long breaks that I forgot to play before or not play before, I guess. Um, so so um, there you go. Let's try this thing. If you're on level one, then of course, just play your version along with this. Here we go. Starting on that A. One. Sounds a little bit like a wounded cat, actually. That's it's kind of hard to listen to. The faster, the faster tracks are going to sound more like blues-ish and stuff. The insanity track that we have this week is uh, sounds something like this. We'll get into that later. So anyway, the faster you go, the more like bluesy and interesting it sounds. It's surprised to get to the exact same thing. This time I beat Clapple to the punch. Haha. 
Here we go. Oh, what? He showed up? Oh, I didn't even notice him. I'm sorry, Kloppel. Man, you just get right up in my face and I don't even notice you. I'm sorry. Here we go. And black and orange and gray cat sitting on the fence. And a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight guys. So then, <clears throat> oh, yes. yes. Hi, Hi, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> so I, I told you you don't have to be here today. What? But it's fun. Okay. I All like right. Okay. I like having you here. Oh, thank you. Okay. So I wanted to let everybody know. Oh, man, I forgot to put this on again. <laughs> That's, That's what you wanted to let everyone know? No. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. No. I wanted to tell everybody mm -hmm. that I found out mm -hmm. that a group of cats mm -hmm. is called a clouder. A clouder? Yeah, a clouder. Actually, like C L O W D E R. Clouder. I'm, I'm I'm glad you interrupted. That's actually kinda interesting. Okay, <laughs> a clouder. All right. Yeah, I never knew that. If you so. shake out a rug where they've been sleeping, then you have a clouder, but I guess all of them all together <laughs> also I guess is a clouder. Yeah. Anyway. That's it. <laughs> okay. Well anyway. Thanks for that. Let's do some mailbag. If you'd like to win an extra 750 points by being the mailbag winner, just fill out the survey at the end of the lesson or send us a message anytime during the week using the contact button at the top of the page. All right, so this week it is from Jack from the Beanstalk. Says, Dear Jamin, what did you do before you were a piano teacher? Uh, so before I was a piano teacher, I was a teacher teacher, like in a classroom with like a bunch of students. And I taught them history and science and math and English and stuff. And I hated grading homework very, very much. But I loved teaching a lot. Um, so, But then now I get to teach and I don't have to grade any homework. So this is what I do now. Still teaching. Yeah. Let's level up. Transitioning to level three. This may be confusing to level one and two students. Please continue to practice your own level or visit learnpianolive.com slash level three to understand how this level works. Okay, so this is level three where we're going to throw in just a little tiny bit of uh, left hand. So we've got um, an A and then a G and then an F and then an E. And we're just going to repeat that over and over and over. Now, if you're thinking, what? We just did A and G and F and E in, our, in my right hand. Why? What are the different? It's all the exact same thing. So while your right hand is playing A's, your left hand is going to play A's. While your left right hand is playing G's, you're going to play a G down here. F's and F's, E's. So let's try this one time through, and then we're going to check in with the shades because I've got a feeling that she already knows a lot of these notes. Here we go. And a one, two, ready, and black and orange, straight cat sitting on the fence. Now we're actually going to repeat those notes during that long break. And then eight, got enough, don't obey the rest. And then repeating one more time, the same exact notes. Actually, the whole entire thing. This is one of the easiest right hands and one of the easiest left hands that we've ever had before. So that means it is time for us to check in with shades with a Z so you know she's cool. 
and uh, let's see what kind of, oh, that's smart. Okay. See what kind of uh, progress you've made while you were practicing. So we've got, uh, do you know the first note? Yeah. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do this time is uh, we had that one thing before. I don't know if you remember where like you couldn't hear the, the track at all. You had zero track and you still nailed all the notes. So uh, this time I'm not going to let you see any of the music. So you just have to do it by memory. Sorry. Too bad. So she has no music. See if you can beat the number of notes that she gets. She has no, no notes. Here we go. Starts on an A. That's all I'm going to tell you. Good luck. You can do this. Can you hear it? I think you're just faking a little bit, a little tiny, tiny bit. Okay, here, I will share my earbud with you. Wow, it's like deja vu. I feel like this has happened before. Okay, and a two. You're barely here, and ready, go. Black and orange, gray. Go. And okay, perfect so far. Okay, ready? Go for it. And then the last part is gonna be right, right, right with my tail. All A's, all A's. Yeah. Ridiculous. There's no way. Okay, next time, no hands. I don't know. I don't know what else we can do. All right, get out of here. That's crazy. So if you're not making as much progress as Shades is, that's perfectly fine because most people get to look at the notes and also hear the track while they're practicing. But she's really good. Anyway, let's level up. Transitioning to level four. This may be unsettling to lower levels. Please continue to practice your own level or visit learnpianolive.com slash level four for an in-depth explanation on how to conquer this level. Okay, so this is uh, level four. We're going to uh, just add in a little bit of uh, left hand more than we had before. So before we're playing um, A's, and G's, and F's, and E's, now we're just going to add in the note that is a perfect fifth above each of those. So if you're in Klopple Academy level four or higher, then you are dealing with perfect fifths. So if that's an A right there, a perfect fifth is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven half steps above that. So you're going to just play two of those and then move them both down. This top note is still seven half steps above this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven half steps. And then F and E. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to add in more notes and make this thing more complicated, which is entirely possible, then you can add in any notes from these chords up here. So during the A minor section... You can add in uh, like an A or a C or an E, anywhere you want in there. Uh, and during the G chord time, you could add in Gs and Bs and Ds if you want. So um, A minor section, we can add in any of these right there. G and then F and then E actually has a G sharp in it. That one's going to be kind of uh, fun. We should see down here. You got the G sharp right there on the E chord. So during that one chord, you get to play G sharps. So I'm going to try to, uh, first, I'll just play straight through it and uh, let you see what this would sound like with what's written here. So it'd be something like... So that is um, all of the notes that are written there. Uh, 
so um yeah all right fine this is this will be our last time through but um so we i that's what it sounds like with that this time through i guess this will be a last time as well um, i'm going to add in some additional chord tones as well so those notes out of those chords that we talked about on the next page over so here we go and a two one two three Notes that were either um, in the chord, or there was one time where I just played notes out of the A minor chord during that whole thing. So I was playing all A minor up there. And then there was another time where I used some blues scale stuff. And if you're on Clawful Academy level four or higher, then you're uh, using the blues scale, which is those notes. So those will sound good uh, pretty much all the way through. And you've got like this big empty space where you could put in a bunch of stuff there. But uh, anyway, it is time for our feature of the day. Yeah! <laughs> and Kendra, since, uh, since you're here, let's go ahead and, and do this one together. So all right. I've got some cool. jokes. I need you to tell me whether or not we should include these on the, the end credits for oh. the Kids Learn Channel. Oh! So you have to cool. tell me whether these are good enough. Again, my favorite joke of all time. I'm not going to say here. You have to wait till the end of the lesson. If you've never um, re waited till the very end of the lesson, it's it's awesome. I'll give you uh, a little hint. It's got butts in it, which makes it funnier. <laughs> so okay. So oh, whatever works. Okay. All right. Cool. So, so here we go. Um, so I told my friend that she drew her eyebrows too high with her makeup. She seemed surprised. Um, <laughs> No? Okay. okay. How about this one? How about this one? This one is your your parents are going to laugh, but um, because it's kind of a history joke, but I think it's hilarious. So, what can think the unthinkable? What? An iceberg. What? <laughs> My parents are probably gonna get it. Probably. <laughs> Because yeah, the yeah, Titanic uh, was called unsinkable, and it sunk oh, because I of an the iceberg. Titanic? Yeah, right. Oh. And it ran into an iceberg. Right. But if you said you're a seas with a f, then you say iceberg, and then yeah, the what? what could what could think the unthinkable? What could sink the unsinkable? What? Never mind. I'm, I'm explaining a joke, which automatically <laughs> makes it unfunny. The other one was I, great though. Right. How about this one? What did okay. the pirate say when he turned eighty? What? I matey. <laughs> See, I got that one. Okay. That was good. <laughs> okay, how about this one? You might like this one then. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Eight? No. No. Ten. Ten. Ten oh. tickles. <gasps> oh, I got it. I was, yeah, that's, that's good. Because right. if it was eight, that wouldn't have been funny. Right. right. <laughs> What's E.T. short for? I don't know. He's got little legs. <laughs> oh, that oh. one's funny, too. Okay. All right. Anyway, those are my jokes. You'll have to let me know if we should include any of those in the end credits. But we're not taking out my favorite one that's got the butt in it. But we are going to level up. Yep. Let's go. Transitioning to level five. This may be terrifying to lower levels. Please continue to practice your own level or visit learnpianolive.com slash level five. For training on how to survive this level okay last level this should be pretty easy uh we should be in the key of e flat though um but let's go ahead and jump into the pdf here and check this thing out so uh the first thing is that we're changing all of the well we needed the pdf 
if we could on the screen. Thank you. Um, so we're changing all of the uh, letters to numbers. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one. But you'll notice here, um, I'm recommending a different set of numbers if you're wanting to like play along with the original song here uh, in the key of E flat. So you would play with different numbers. But we're going to stick with these numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. And then it's just six, five, four, three, and it's just as simple as it was on all of the other levels. So six, six, five, five, four, four, three, six, six, five, five, four, four, three. And down here, you're going to play a six and a five and a four and a three chord. But on that three chord, this one has an M on it because it's a major three. We already talked about this a little bit, but that middle note right there should be a G sharp. It should be a raised three. So we've got a three chord, and that middle note right there is going to be raised just a little bit. So let's try this one time before we check in with uh, shades with the Z so you know she's cool. I got two out of four of them. Wow, that was that was that was pathetic. But you know who's not pathetic is Shades. Let's check in with Shades and see how she's doing with this thing. So um, you can't see, you can't hear, and um, you still nailed it perfectly. So I don't even know what's going to happen this time. But here we go. Good luck. And a two. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, here we go. And. The dance. Okay. Yeah. yeah, pretty close. You know what? For not having any of the notes and and for not being able to hear very well, that was actually really impressive. I'm I'm proud of you, Shades. Way to go. Nice job. All right, now get out of here. So uh, this next thing that we're gonna try is um, called the insanity level. Well, let's just go there. Now transitioning to the insanity level. Please proceed with caution. If you feel queasy, please sit upright and breathe deeply. Your life is in your own hands at this point. Good luck, young prodigy. All right, so here's how it works. You can play all white notes. Now, in this one case for the insanity level, if you happen to be able to follow along with the chords and you know when that E chord is with that raised um, G sharp, right, the G into the G sharp, then you are allowed to play that one note during that one chord. But other than that, it's all supposed to be white notes. The only uh, really important rule is at the end, we're supposed to hit an A. So you're just going to get the last note. Here we go. Good luck. Hopefully you got some of those. All right. Well, anyway, let's find out who won the raffle. Here we go.
Thank you, everybody, for joining us. If you won the raffle, we will email you and let you know. Because we don't know when this is going up, then I can't tell. But we will run the raffle. We will let you know. And then join us next week. Hopefully, we'll be live and it won't be a pre recorded thing. And uh, hopefully, Kendra will have something more to do here. But send us your videos. Love you. Hey, you're still here. Me too. Well, here's what needs to happen next. Uh, first of all, click on the survey button. That uh, is probably like right over here. Maybe if you're on the iPad, it's like down here below the video. Anyway, it's right around there. Click on that. Let us know how we did today. And also ask us any questions that you might have about this lesson or about any other lesson. You might even be the mailbag winner if you include your name in that. Um, and then after that, you're going to go to the music challenge, uh, which is a button probably right up here up above the uh, video. And so uh, click on the music challenge. You can do, come back every single day and fill out the, uh, the code thing and get your points for, for doing that. So you got your music challenge thing to do after you do the survey. And then uh, after you've practiced the song up, then go to the, the one up here that says right over here probably student videos. Uh, and then take a video of yourself on your phone or your iPad or whatever, and then send us your video. And uh, maybe it could even be the featured video and you get points for doing that. Um, and then if you have any questions, click the uh, contact button that's also up there somewhere anyway I don't know uh, but click on that let us know if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you back here next week all right thanks for joining us it was a lot of fun see ya